Hi guys, this time Q1234 here. Um, as some of you are aware of, I have completed my GCSEs, which means I can now spend more time doing YouTubing. So um, here we have, uh, I think, is how to build your own bus stop. So what you need is a, um, a big race plate like this. So pretty long one. You need two of these, which come from the horse box. I think it's it's definitely two thousands, but it's like two thousand twenty twelve or twenty thirteen, maybe two thousand eleven. But anyway, it's from the horse box that I got ages ago. Um, ironically, I just found a ton of these in the box. So we put one of them on there, the other one on there, and we got one of these glass bits that comes from the police station. 2009, I think. My memory's not that good at the minute, so um, I'm just gonna think. It's definitely, um, but it's police station anyway, so that goes there. We then get that bit on the back there. Does that fit? Is the question. Ah, uh, um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Got to rework it. <laughs> Ach, got to rework it now. I don't. It's just literally gone. No, it's not like that. That bit goes there. So it's like that. Don't get that bit. On the back, ideally it should all match up. Yes, it does. That now matches up. We then put that bit on the front. We then put that bit on there. And then we get this wooden box. You can see for that little garbage thing. Put that there. And there is the bus stop uh, created by myself. So it's... It's a basic one, but it will do a good job because Lego have um, done. Uh, no, they've done a couple of buses, so this is my basically my own creation. Onto this is the big um, diorama. So um, it's basically I'm using a mixture of Brick Mania, um, which is based in the US, um, Minneapolis actually. Um, they are Lego does not recognise them, but basically, you know the cheap Lego stuff like Lepin and that sort of thing, coffee coffee makers. Actually, they are they use actual Lego bricks. So um, if I go for um, so you know you can see that um, it's got Lego. Basically, that is in effect. We get one of my soldiers. I think. But they actually used Lego bricks. They got their own printing factory and everything in in, in Minneapolis that they do. So they're basically currently, as far as I know, they are based in the Mall of America in Minneapolis and Woodfield, Wood something more in Chicago. But when those leases expire, I think they will move to the northeast, not no northwest, northwest of Minneapolis. I think. Anyway, back to the diorama. So um. If we go there, so we've got a couple of um, stuff, we've got the flags there, uh, which are American, British, French. Apologies, and um, we've got a little sandy ditch, that sort of thing, tree, woody area. We've got a beach. Um, I should have stuck around, oh, darn it. <laughs> I was hastily making it last night and just realised this morning that. There's some bits that still need patching up, so, um, <laughs> I can't do that now, can I? So, um, we've basically got a uh, Brit Mania stuff, so during, well, Brit Mania order, what, pardon me, sorry, um, what I ordered was two Panzerfaust, which is basically a German version of the American bazooka. These little signs, which are danger, different lines, that sort of thing. And um, that sort of thing. Oh, it's not a thing. Oh, yeah, right. I basically stashed them all. Sorry. <laughs> Great. I 
stashed them all in here. Yeah, that's probably better. Yeah, I, st I stashed them all in there because basically, if me and Avinana Jensen and Mark get time, then we're going to do a collaboration. So, here's one to go. I have to give three minefield signs. It's basically got a mixture of languages English and German. So, that's that airway thing on. It's disappeared. I don't know where it's gone, but it's got it somewhere. I just don't know. It's disappeared, really. For some sort of reason, I don't know. Um, so, I'm just storing them in here for the time being. So, I'll get it out. If you can see, there's two German ones. Open sesame. Get you out. How would you come? Tip it, tip it. Great. Oh well, never mind. Um, so finally, um, so we've got the German, German, German. So um, that one, basically in German, that means air ratio this way, which is basically the equivalent of the British. Where the heck is it disappeared? It's just this way. I was doing it last night. I put, I popped it somewhere, and now it's just disappeared. It's just disappeared in thin air. Of course, um, I know they vanish in thin air. Um, that means air raid shelter in German. That basically means warning mines. So, um, minefield, come on, minefield, 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 and um, times by three. Um, two warning danger of death mines. Uh, signs. Um, maybe it's some of it's ah yes. Um, just shifting that away. That way. <laughs> That's the shelter for the um. If you want to create your blitz uh, diorama, um, like um during the blitz, which lasted from uh seventh of September nineteen forty to the about uh, late. Early late May 1941, before um, Hitler turned his attention to Russia, um, that was what that sign would have been used for. And that air raid, air raid shelter, um, that, was, that actually disappeared from my view of sight. It's weird. But anyway, um, so, that stuff. Um, some of you, I didn't. I think you've been following my um, Facebook because um, I haven't set it up, but I designed my own tank, which um, I basically used tiny bit of information from Britannia's one. Um, bit of version like the M3 Lee, but it's not actually. It's just my take on my customised thing. So it's got a big main gun. Um, it's got pretty wide tracks, as I don't have the Big Mania, pretty thin tracks, because they're not going to work. So, actually, it was a compromise, because I had to work out something that would mean it would roll. So, put that back into the button forwards, and traverse. So, it was actually, because if you look, you can see it's got... Those two bits there, those bits there, the red bits, those are the bits that ensure that the track link it stays on, on and everything. So there's actually no one inside it, because it doesn't make any sense. Because um, of the size, which, because you make it too high, um, that's not going to really work, because I mean, you want to love a silhouette and stuff. Um, anyway, back to the mock. Um, put you there. Um, so I basically took inspiration from D Day at uh, Spitmania. We're doing that, are doing a D Day contest mock, which basically means that you've got to design stuff. You can do it until the 28th of June. Yes, 28th. Um, if you go to search up Brickmania, um, in Google, it may come up, it's not going to be .co.uk, it's going to be brickmania.com, I think, um, 
So, um, back to Gnome Arm anyway. So we've got um, the artillery gun that I showed you. So that one, that is not actually a really good anti-tank one because you pop it there, you can just instantly see it's, it's the height of the weapon. It's just the height, it does not work out with it. So, just pop it in storage. Got the wrecked house. That was originally a church, but I kind of decided to do it all wrecked up and stuff with flames and that sort of thing. Um, a random box. It's got carrot, sausage, hat, pistol, ton of stuff, newspaper, um, that and glasses somehow miraculously stayed there. Um, empty tracks, chicken, chicken in a jaw, that doesn't exactly work. Um, gas canister, fuel, whatever thingy. Um, of course, the little uh, Bitmania stuff inside the Lego box. Got the two Africa Corps soldiers. They are my only Africa Corps soldiers. So they're the only guys that I've got. One's carrying the Brickmania Panzerfaust, which, if you don't know, wears uh, the German take on American bazooka. It was designed to um, basically Panzerfaust destroy tanks, in effect. I've got two of those. One there and one there. We've got um, one guy there, one guy there. Come in, which one? I think this, yeah, this one, this is the one that I create, I, um, ordered the Brick Mania parts for. Not the head, obviously. <laughs> but, and then this one, I think, um, yeah, that one I bought is 13 US dollars. Um, the total order was pretty pricey, it was around, in the, it's pretty high into the 90s, including the shipping, so... If you live in the UK, the best advice is to um, not to ship it because it will take a hell out of your money. Because whatever you bought, whether it be a $70, $80, $90, $100, you've still got to be careful because of the fees that you've got to pay with the um, customs and everything. They're like, right, you've got... Um, because for me, originally, it was, um, of course, then you got the Royal Mail handling fee of £8. So, um, I actually, I calculated it to be 10 to £11. Pounds, um, but they missed out where actually, it was close to 20 That much. Just for about, um, 20 so items. How many items did I get? Um, it was one big pack. Um, one big pack. Two pounds of house, two Lewis guns, um, four flags, Soviet Union flag was up on my desk because of it's D Day, Soviet Union did not participate in D Day. Um, so back to it, and um, we've got Indian soldier. I don't actually know if Indians fought on D Day, um, but I put it in there because it's just like, well, it's the Weather sense because I've been the British Empire at the time. And we've got the winds of a house with just a lone stair. Well, a lone stair. Just that's it. That's the way it's survived. Just a stair. Um, it's got a pipeline. It's got fire. Antenna. That sort of thing. With a secret radio broadcast. More fire. Um, back onto the other side. Can't we go? Um, uh, no, um, an armoured car, my take on an armoured car, which is pretty bad. It's not it's not that good, but it's not bad either. Um, then we've got my version of the uh, Britannia M16 or Pack 40 anti-tank gun. So, um, the Britannia one, it costs $16. Mine costs about 10 to 15 minutes of my time to make one of these. It's the only one I've got. Um, I designed it with the sole purpose in mind that it can be used as an anti-tank gun. So, um, if I just do that, it can depress. It can elevate, which you can use as regular artillery. And it can just stay where it is. I mean, it's got a shield designed by myself. It's not the best, but it does protect them. 
it's got the ability to be towed that bit so you've got the this which is an American soldier um, with a Lewis gun one of the two again but as I mentioned we've got the tracks from the Arctic stuff I can't remember when that was done but no yeah, rubber anyways Lego actual Lego tracks um, the tracks on the tank if I go to there they are from the bulldozer um, the light got they're the dark ones the light one is from the Chase McCain um, museum stuff for the speed trap that was the one there that one just came from it just fitted well um, as you can see anyway back to this we've got a um, low hook bit that bit that connects to the artillery gun meaning that that can be towed if it's needed um, anyway put that back there oh you're there <laughs> um, so um, it's got its own headlight function of what it is um, it's got its own headlight function um, got oh, a car I've got a plane it, I created that myself it was a uh, Regular plane, um, top thing we've got, uh, the background if we can get it, yep, got it, uh, Russian machine gun, with me uh, again, um, six dollars, it's worth, it's worth it actually, um, yeah, the, the money is actually a pain in the rear end due to the cost, but the actual result is worth it, it's really worth it, I mean, Really good, I like it, it's worth it. Um, it's 12.7 mm times by 108, so it's pretty big. Um, it's Russian, I got it because of the price range $65. Um, it's actually pretty handy, I love it. So, um, hopefully, I'll be getting some more Bitmania in the future. So it's just the, just the, it's quite a long process just to get the bit mania, um, which is just well, it's well, it's what you expect from someone in the UK is the pricing of the bit mania, and on that note, um, thank you very much. I hope you have enjoyed this YouTube video, and I will see you again. Please like, share. And last of all, subscribe. Thanks.